guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project, where I like to share my everyday life projects with you. And today's project is starting some pepper seeds indoors. So if you see in last week's video, you'll know that I started some petunia seeds indoors and that was week one of seed starting indoors. And in that video, I talked about when to start your seeds based on your last frost date, how I sterilize my seed starting mix, how I plant the seed, and how I water my little pots from the bottom. I also showed you that I place them under a simple grow light system. So if you have not seen that video yet and would like to, I will link it down in the description below. So because I went over all of those things that I just mentioned in last week's video, I will not continue, you know, to mention them as I go on each week as I'm starting these different seeds um, because that would become kind of boring and repetitive. So I'm just going to focus on the seeds that I'm starting for that particular week. So let's get into this project. Pepper seeds you want to start about 8 to 10 weeks before your last frost date. I live in Kentucky, a zone 6. My last frost date is about April the 11th. You can find that really simply by doing a Google search online. So if I count back from my last frost date on a calendar, this week is 9 weeks out. So the perfect time to start my pepper seeds indoors. So I have my seeds here and my little pots. These I picked up from Amazon. I already have inside some moistened Jiffy seed starting mix um, that I sterilized. These pots have drainage holes in the bottom and they measure about three inches wide and tall. Down here I have some labels that I already have the pepper names on as well as the date. So the first pepper seeds I have here are these heirloom organic seeds I purchased from Amazon. They are sweet pepper, cow wander, so a nice sweet bell pepper. They start out green and ripen into a red color. Also on the back of here, growing tips, sow seeds indoors 8 to 10 weeks. We've already talked about that. Also you want to plant these at a depth of 1 fourth inch. Also talks about days to germination, 12, so a lot of good information on the back of these seed packets. The next peppers here are the sweet banana peppers, so really yummy. And on the back here it talks about some of the same things, days to germination, 10 to 12, the depth you want to plant, that 1 fourth inch. And it also talks about starting seeds indoors 6 to 8 weeks before your last frost date. But you know, 8 weeks, 9 weeks, it's not going to make that big of a difference. So let's plant some seeds. These first ones, the bell pepper, the cow wander. I'm so happy these seeds are a good size because last week those petunia seeds were really small. So these will be much easier to work with. So I placed my seeds down here on my paper towel because I first wanted to show you how using this popsicle stick I make my planting holes. So you want to make them one fourth of an inch deep based on the seed packet instructions and you can plant as many seeds as you want to. I'm going to do four. A lot of people will do anywhere from two to four. The good thing about it is if you have a lot of seedlings come up you can always thin them down and keep the strongest seedling. So I'm going to put one seed in each hole and you want to plant more than one just in case you don't have that many that germinate and come up so you don't want to just plant one seed. So once I have all of my seeds in the holes just take my popsicle stick and cover them up with the soil and that's pretty much all there is to it. Just lightly cover all the seeds and then that's it. So I'll probably wait and plant up this pot here a little bit later because it'll be the same as the first. So I'll probably do this one here and plant up some of these sweet banana pepper seeds. So you can see the pepper seeds here. They pretty much look just like the bell pepper seeds. I'll pour some out of my hand here so you can see them. Yep, look pretty much the same. So I'm going to go ahead and take them and lay them down on my paper towel and show you how I plant them up. So planting these seeds are the same as the first. I'm just going to start by making my little planting holes with my popsicle stick, making it a quarter of an inch deep into this seed starting mix. 
Once you have your holes, then I'm just going to place one seed in each hole. And again, you just don't want to plant one or two seeds. If they don't germinate, then you kind of have to start all over. But you know, that's not the end of the world. That's gardening sometimes. And if your seeds don't germinate or your seedlings die, you can always just plant more seeds. So just lightly cover using my popsicle stick and just lightly pressing. And that's it. So another container all planted up. So next I'm just going to quickly plant the rest of these little containers up with the pepper seeds and I don't want to forget to add in my garden markers or labels because I would definitely forget what are in these little pots and when I planted them. So next once they're all planted up then I would just take them and place them into my seed starting tray and then I would add some water to the tray and let these little pots kind of wick up what moisture they wanted into the soil and then I can just pour off the excess in about 30 minutes. seeds germinate best in warm soil so some people will place their pots on top of heating mats I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna see how it goes uh, mine may take a little bit longer to germinate so I just wanted to give you a quick look at these petunia seeds that I planted last week so you can see here no germination yet but if you notice on the top there's this you know orangey stuff and I'll talk about that in a minute but the only action I'm getting is this kind of gray white fuzzy kind of mold or fungus um, so sometimes that is not uh, harmful for your seedlings but sometimes it can be so I'm not taking any chances I've sprinkled the tops with some cinnamon and this cinnamon is just from my kitchen just regular you know cinnamon that you would put in your recipes your cooking um, so you just kind of sprinkle that on the top because it is a kind of natural fungicide so I'm hoping that will take care of the problem um, so I think I'll just go ahead and sprinkle sprinkle it on as a preventative measure for my other little pots. So I have their little tops sprinkled with the cinnamon and I'm just going to watch these pots every day and kind of watch for them to germinate but in the meantime I'll just probably go ahead and place them beside the petunias in my seed starting tray underneath the grow light and I can give them water from the bottom if they need the moisture. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos and updates on how these little guys are doing. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are growing right along with me so we can both get a jump start on our spring garden. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.